Okay. Let's start the uh, presentation. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the HPC track. Um, my name is Songka Heng. I was part of the uh, original Nirvana team, and now I'm a system architect with Intel. In the past six months, and Intel has been actively involved in uh, helping supporting our customer, our partner, uh, developing the uh, deep learn, uh, the OAM spec. And today, I would like to introduce uh, the OAM with Intel Nirvana Neural Network Processor L1000 product family. There are three objectives that I would like to cover in my present presentation today. The first one, and I would like to talk about the, um, the uh, NMP module itself. And the second, I would like to talk about the, uh, the baseball design that we provided to the customer. And lastly, I would like to talk about the, um, the uh, topology that we supported with the uh, uh, NMP module. So, OAM common form factor is a, was a very big challenge and, and to uh, define into the OAM, OAM spec, uh, such as the uh, high-dense uh, PCB routing, uh, VR component uh, placement, and also the uh, connector selection and, and the uh, chassis design and baseball design as well. So um, the Intel NMP module that we designed, we uh, were able to intercept with the latest spec with the, uh, the module dimension of the 102 by 165 mm. In the OAM spec, the power consumption for the 48 volt is up to 700 watt and the 300 watt for 12 volt. But both Intel 200 watt and 425 watt NMP module only support 48 volt input. And it will simplify a lot on the module design and also on the uh, baseboard uh, power delivery design as well. One of the most important part of the OAM is, is the uh, interconnect topology for high speed service. The NMP module comes with the 16 ICL 30 port. Each 30 port is a by four lane. In the next slide, I will show you how Intel, uh, we can combine the four, four lane into, uh, into the OEM spec. This is the module pin map for the uh, Intel NMP module. So, OEM spec defined up to seven by 16 service port um, because it will support the multi, multiple uh, um, interconnect topologies such as the uh, hybrid cube mesh, almost fully connected, fully connected, and also, and so on. To support the HCN topology, we combine the uh, 16 by four ICL service into four by 16 service. As you can see uh, in, in, the, in the diagram here, uh, we uh, located the uh, service port into service one, three, four, and six. The, the picture on, the, uh, on the, the topology picture on the right is what we show that how it can interconnect together because it, for the uh, HCM topology, you only need to have four uh, interconnect from the module to the module. So if you are attended the keynote from by the Intel corporate VP, Jason Waxman yesterday, or stop by the booth or uh, Intel booth, you, you are able to see the, uh, the Intel mezzanine module that is something similar like this. So this is the, uh, the sample that we have and, and the picture on the, on the left, right, that is the uh, final product that we're going to ship to our customer. 
the top plate of the the top plate will integrate with the uh, VR hissing, um, VR hissing, and also they they are four mounting hole reserved for the uh, for the hissing itself. The picture on the left is uh, one of the uh, hissing refer reference design that we provided to our customer. Due to the uh, uh, different customer may have a uh, different uh, system design requirement, the hissing that we provided as a reference design, and so that they can um, they can use the uh, the hissing design to speed up their development cycle. I would like to talk about what is the uh, the requirement on the system implementation. So, the NMP module itself only support forty to sixty volt and three point three volt. The forty to sixty volt is for is used to power up the uh, NMP MMP module, and the three point three volt is just for the low power module management. So, if you look at the thermal solution that I showed in the previous slide. And it support three U passive air cool up to the thirty-five ambient temperature. Like in the ON spec, they have done the uh, analysis that it can with the uh, three U uh, air cool heating, it can support up to four hundred fifty watts. So, the next thing that I would like to talk about is that what do we uh, proposed for the uh, deep learning topology and how and how it all connected together, right? And I'm going to show you the baseball design that we we um, it's a baseball reference design that we will, we will provide to our customer. So this is the baseball reference design that we are going to provide to our customer. As you can see, the picture on the left, uh, the uh, the module itself also have the uh, QSF PDD for the uh, chassis to chassis. Uh, connectivity, and at the and the picture on the right is where you 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 place the uh, PCA switch on it. So the uh, the design is very simple, right? So you have a the placement itself is like PCA switch, NMP module, and a QSF PDD. Um, depends on the on the customer design. So the uh, the PCB stack up could vary from uh, 18 to 22 layers depending on how many components that you want to put on the, on the on the on the on the baseboard this is the uh, topology that we have uh, for the uh, single chassis as you can see on the on the on the left side and the blue color lines that is for the uh, PCB routing, and the red color is for the uh, QSIP DD cable. Uh, we have we have done the uh, analysis design and, and also the design, and based on the uh, uh, OAM spec, right? The uh, insertion loss, the loss budget for the for the OAM is like eight dB, and the baseball is like fourteen dB. We were able to uh, to 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 put uh, to to do the all the routing. Onto the baseboard to to meet our uh, lost budget requirement. Another thing that I would like to mention that if, if you look at the uh, the chassis on the right side, and if you look at the chassis, the QSP DD cable, right, and it is uh, you can use up to one meter QS QSP DD cable, and in, in for the intra chassis connectivity, you actually doesn't need to use one meter. You can use a 0.5 meter. With that in place, right, so if a lot of the uh, concern that um, the people have is the uh, the airflow in and out for the chassis, right? Because of the cabling might blocking the airflow. But if you look at the uh, the the cabling here, is a very simple, and the impact on the uh, chassis uh, airflow is very minimal. So, one of the unique uh, NMP uh, architecture is that we can scale beyond eight card, sixteen card, or even more. From a system uh, point of view, there is no limitation, right? So th this is the uh, the the drawing how you to combine two um, 
to match uh, HCM chassis into a, into a bigger uh, 16, 16 loop. And as you can see, the, um, the chassis uh, cable routing is very straightforward. So each chassis, you just need to have eight cable interconnect together. And that, that, that connectivity is quite similar to what we have like a separate compute and a, and, a, and a CPU node, right, from the PCIe to the chassis that is easy for the uh, cable uh, management on the rack. So if the customer asking like, um, how can you scale beyond multi-rack, right? So this is what we propose to scale beyond multi-rack. So it, they, this is the full system, two-rack solution that that the customer can have, right? And you see the uh, the the routing topology is is quite similar for the single rack topology. We just extend it to uh, to uh, an uh, another an rack with the uh, with the with the cabling. This is how the chassis connectivity for the two racks. So it, it is quite similar to uh, to the single rack and it, it doesn't have a limitation to to two rack it can be three racks four racks depends on on the uh, on the configuration so this is uh the last slide in my presentation and um, I'm so excited that I can uh, uh, present this to, to all of you and, and also announce that uh, the uh, Intel Nirvana NMP Neural Network Processor L1000 um, that, that we can enable uh, for the uh, multi-chassis scaling with the ACM topology. So we are welcome you to get more feedback and you can engage with the OCP uh, server group and provide your feedback on the OAM system implementation. Okay, thank you all for your time and have a good evening. <laughs>